Tonight, Orange County's top cop says he's scared this weekend could be a violent one. Sheriff Jerry Deming says his deputies have seen more teens committing violent crimes over the last few days. The latest was a carjacking early this morning in the Esplanade condos. That's near the corner of Americana and Rio Grande. Not far from Palmetto Elementary either. News 6 reporter Eric Sandoval is live at Orange County Sheriff's headquarters with more tonight. Eric. Yeah, Matt, we asked Sheriff Demings what he's going to be doing about this. What are his deputies going to be doing about this? And he told us it's already being done right now. He says his team is out on the streets in marked cars like this one and in unmarked cars. But he says he's going to need more help than that. Orange County Sheriff's investigators say the latest violent crime involving teenagers happened here this morning. They say three teens stole a man's car at gunpoint at the Esplanade condos off Rio Grande. Deputies say they found the car with the teens still inside about two miles away. They arrested them. And one of them, they say, a 15-year-old, confessed to three other carjackings. That comes just days after two other women were violently carjacked by teenagers near a popka. One woman is still in the hospital, and one of the women's dogs are still missing. These are young teenagers, 14, 15-year-olds. Sheriff Jerry Demings tells News 6 he's afraid we could see more crimes committed by teens, especially over the 4th of July weekend. And he called out parents who are not watching their kids. They're out at early morning hours uh, after midnight. Uh, in my humble opinion, a child that age who is unsupervised uh, should not be out alone. Deming says he's worried it could get worse. He says 12 teenagers have been shot in Orange County already this year. Three of them have died. He was asked if Orange County should impose a curfew. What I do not want to do is punish uh, the actions of uh, all of our children who do, for the most part, what they're supposed to be doing, uh, where they are punished by the actions of the few. Now, those three teenagers who were arrested for this morning's carjacking should appear before a judge tomorrow morning at the Juvenile Justice Center over on Michigan Street. Meantime, Orange County Sheriff's deputies tell us they are out there tonight and they're keeping their eyes peeled. We're live at the Orange County Sheriff's headquarters tonight. Eric Sandoval, News 6. Matt. Eric, thank you.